Maayong pagpaniod to kaninyo diha mga higala. Aniano sa kita sa tong ikatulong na tupiko sa timana ni ining pagtuon. Ni ini higayuna ato na usab pagatunaan ang tupikong naguluhang The Life Giver is Come. Nahibalo ka ba higala na ang iyang pagbalik hapit na? Ato ka nang nahibawan ka ron, busa ayaw pakyasa ang paglantaw araw mahibalo ka. Magampo kita. Amahan nga balaan, ani anasag ka ng Diyos, nagahang nyo sa inyong balaang Espiritu, nung magiya ka na mo, huwag mag-hikap sa mga tagstag sa kutinkasi, lang nag-iyod sa itong mga viewers, nung nilang mga tatak na, kinong Diyos, dagang kayong salamat sa ang pagtuwag sa mga pag-ampo sa nga na Yesus. Amen. The Life Giver is Coming ang itong teksto nga nagpagasaluhan ka ron sa itong pagtuon, makita sa Job 14 verse 14. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait. Tell my change, come. Job 14 verse 14. The life giver will call up his purchased position in the first resurrection and until the triumphant hour. When the last trump shall sound and the vast army shall come forth to eternal victory, every sleeping saint will be kept in safety and will be guarded as a precious jewel, who is known to God by name, by the power of the Savior that dwelt in them while living and because They were far eaters of the divine nature. They are brought forth from the dead. Our fondest hopes are often blighted here. Our loved ones are torn from us by death. We close their eyes and hug them to the bone and lay them away from our sight. But hope bursts our spirits up. We are not parted forever but shall meet the loved ones who sleep in Jesus. They shall come again from the land of the enemy. The life giver is coming. My riads of holy angels scored him on his way. He burst the bonds of death, breaks the fetters of the tomb, the precious captives from forth in health and immortal beauty. Our personal identity is preserved in the resurrection, though not the same particles of matter or material substance as when into the grave. In the resurrection, everyone will have his own character. God in his own time will call for the dead, giving again the breath of life and bidding the dry bones live There will be a relinking of the family chain. When we look upon our dead, we may thank of the morning when the trump of God shall sound, when the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 52. The last lingering traces of the curse of sin will be removed and Christ's faithful ones will appear in the beauty of the Lord our God, in mind and soul and body reflecting the perfect image of their Lord. Are we ready so that if we shall fall asleep, we can do so with hope in Jesus Christ? Andam na ba kita higala? Aron, pagkitagbo ka niya. Let us pray. Our great God, Father in heaven, we bestow you for always, O oh God. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for the knowledge, the wisdom that you've given to us. Father God, we are so lucky enough because you're always there for us. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Salamat sa inyong pagpakibuban ka na ko, Higayuna, o hinaot kita na usab, pagkita ay ugma, alang sa itong bagong na mabungahon na tupiko. 
malipayong pagpanood ko kanin yung tanan.